Welcome back to Simply Sabrina Stitches. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a sewing tutorial on how to do a baby ruffle bloomers. This is going to be a cute add-on outfit to your onesie or shirt designs for your Etsy shop. So I just want to show you how to do it. I purchased this pattern off of Etsy and I'll have the information in the description box down below for you to check out if you want to follow along to this pattern. For today's tutorial, you're going to need your fabric of choice, a rotary cutter, one fourth inch elastic, and your pattern. I like to trace out my pieces so that I can keep. I like to keep my pattern intact so that if I need to adjust the sizes later on in the future, I can, and I just trace over it. I know my fabric is a little wrinkly right now, and I will iron it before I cut out the pieces. So I wanna show you guys the process of me cutting out my fabric. I purchased this fabric from fabric.com, and that's where I buy most of my fabrics, um, as well as stopping into Joann's from time to time. Uh, Fabric.com has a 50% off fabric sale on Friday, so that's a great resource to start with if you're just beginning out. This is my back pattern piece, and it's cut on the fold. So you just fold your fabric in half and you cut it that way. This is also 100% cotton, also known as quilting cotton. Using my pattern waist just to hold down the pattern. So you only cut one of this and this is what the piece will look like. I, I traced out a 9 to 12 month size and I'm going to do the rest of them and then we can continue with the sewing. So for this tutorial I'm going to be using the, a combination of my serger which is the Janome and my sewing machine which is a brother. I already did a rolled hem on the bottom of each piece to make it a little bit easier. So for the directions, you have to get two of your panel pieces and sew them together. We sew right sides together. And I'm going to be stitching one fourth of an, of an inch. ruffles right sides together and we're going to sew the side seams Thank <laughs> you. 
And then we're going to create the ruffles on our sewing machine. To create gathers on your sewing machine, you are going to change the length of the stitches to the highest you can. So I'm just going to go into my settings, change the length to 5, say OK. And when it stitches out, you'll be able to gather your stitches. It's also important to um, change your tension dial to um, a, a higher number. I have mine at eight, but it can go up to nine. And this is gonna be a one fourth uh, steam allowance. We're not going to do any back stitching. We are just going to stitch all around. You're going to find the beginning of your stitch and start to gather the thread. Okay, and this is what it will look like once um, you gathered it some. And then we're going to pin it to the bottom of the bloomers to kind of even it out. Okay, once you have everything pinned in place, you are going to take your panel piece face down and insert it over your ruffles. right sides down facing each other and the seams are matching on the opposite side. Once you have it pinned in place, you are going to sew it at a 1 4th seam allowance. Start your stitch with a back stitch and then continue sewing, making sure everything is catching in between. So this is what the first layer looks like. And you pretty much do the same thing with the second layer. So I decided to finish the waistband and the legs off camera. But I do like the way it came out. There's some areas where I could have done better, but it's still a learning process for me. Uh, this fabric, I don't think it's um, in stock anymore, but if you can find it, it was purchased from fabric.com. This is it, you guys. Nice, simple, easy pattern for you to do. As always, thank you for watching today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with future videos.